Okay, guys. Uh, in this video, uh, I'll be guiding you with the number of solution uh, for the error. Your PC ran into the problem. Needs to restart. And the stop code uh, is APC index mismatch. The number of solution in this tutorial, one that the solutions will help you. I hope it helped you. Uh, if it uh, this video really works for you, be sure to share this video with your friends and family. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates straightly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing. And then after you can restart your PC. Don't forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix the issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix the issue. Okay, guys, you'll roll back the driver. You have this PC or my computer, give a right click on it. And then you're going to find somewhere manage. And then you'll go to device manager and your drop down icons for the driver. Let's say any of this driver is causing the problem. You'll see you're not being able to update or you have a Hello, exclamatory signs over the driver. We'll give a right click on driver. And then if none of these options work, you try to update it, disable it, enable it again. It do not work for you. Scan for the hardware change, do not work for you. So you'll roll back it. Go to the properties. And then go to drivers. And here, currently it's grayed out because I do not have um, the previous version of driver right now because it's already the so driver person so that is installed. If you have uh, made any newest update, any newest version of drivers recently you have installed, you'll already you'll definitely have a rollback option. So you'll click on rollback. It will take some time and roll back the drivers and click on OK. This will fix the issue. Go to troubleshoot. Let me restore. See, to use the system restore, you must specify which Windows installation to restore. Restart this computer and select an operating system and then select system restore. Click on close. Just run the system file checker, SFC slash scan now. So this process might take some time and let it finish and have it uh, repair your computer. So all of you might not get this message, like there is a system repair pending. Uh, you need to restart the computer and run this uh, SFC slash scan now. So if this process might uh, take some time and when it is completed, uh, you're going to restart your computer and I hope uh, it fixes the issue. Sometimes if you get the message like this, you just restart your computer and then run this command once again and I hope it fixes the issue. Okay guys, sometime the new update. Recently we made a new update and new update will be causing the problem. Go to the source and you're going to type update and security. You're going to type the so update and okay, Windows update settings. So go to the Windows update settings. Inside here, you have update history. In our update history, you're going to see over here, just come down. And here you have uninstall updates. And you can just uh, select uh, the recently made any, all these uh, updates were made very recently. Select any update that has been, uh, that was made very recently and that has caused the problem so you have mentioned according to the date so at what date your pc was working fine and what is the recent update you have made so if any recently made update is causing the problems so you're gonna uninstall that particular update it's a very easy way to uninstall the update so after uninstalling the update in order to, uh, for the changes to take effect uh, you need to rest, uh, restart your PC. You can see restart your required. Now you're going to restart your PC. 
and the problem should be fixed. You're just going to choose. It's a troubleshoot. And here you have. Uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. If you want to keep your personal files, choose the first option and enter. Okay, guys, this will restart your PC. And after restarting, this is what you get. So it's going to take some time to get ready. And finally, you have this page. So reset this PC. Yeah, I currently I have a multiple number of account. So you're going to choose your account. One you use to log in your PC. So if it is password, protected you have to enter the password and click on continue if it is not password protected just directly click on continue now once you click on continue this is what you get resetting this pc getting the things ready so give us some time and it will get all the things ready Okay guys, now here it is. Once it's once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your PC will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC all the way ready to use.